The two things most important in seminary training are also important in Benedictine life. Prayer at the center of their life and strong community. And those two aspects of our monastic life are really the heart and soul of our program for training seminarians. They need to acquire that sense that prayer is, is really at the heart of their future priesthood. But also they can't do it alone. They need a community. They need the fraternity of other priests. They need the support of their parish. I think this community here has developed a structure that is aimed at helping us grow in all the areas of our formation, from the prayer to the liturgy, to cleaning around campus. It's really structured to help us to grow. But it's also the location of the monastery in an out-of-the-way place. And it gives them an environment where distractions are lessened. To really know who God is calling us to be takes patience and time. And Conception Seminary College has been a place that's provided both the patience and the time, the space and the community for men to do that type of growth. The mission of Conception Seminary College is to form young men for the priesthood. We want to form them into men who are in love with the church, in love with Christ, and who can give of themselves to the mission of Christ. The only way we're going to make an impact on other people's lives is through relationship. And it begins with our relationship with the Lord. And as that deepens, then we have something to give to other people. The, the essence of seminary formation, and this, is, this, is, this comes from very much our Benedictine tradition, is teaching them to listen. Listen to God, listen to nature, listen to themselves, listen to others. That is a word that can capsulize because it's more than just hearing. It's a deep reception of the truth of reality that is constantly playing out in the life of the individual. It helps peers encourage each other, support each other, in developing a brotherhood where they learn from each other, grow, uh, and support each other. And quite frankly, I believe all of us here are convicted with the idea that you cannot lead a community until you've participated fully in one. And so, men living together under one roof, experiencing the joys of living as one big family and the challenges will be critical and help them uh, prepare for the leadership they'll be asked to undertake by the church. We're all united under one common goal. We're all moving in the same direction and we're all doing it together. The campaign which we call Brothers Living in Unity is aimed at strengthening our formation programs, especially our human formation programs. We really wanted to make a building that would be a home for the seminarians to live in. It's important for us to realize that a seminary is not just an institution. It's a community, a place for people to come to live and grow together. And so when we were designing this new dorm, we wanted to make a building that would fit in with the beauty of Conception's campus so that it will really be a part of the whole. The building itself, I think, can help in the sense that if people realize that living together still means making room for one another. In other words, you can have the best of, of um, facilities and so forth, but learning to give, learning to be considered, learning to, to well, live like a family. I also hope that it teaches these young seminarians as they will eventually go out into parishes and serve communities, have a glimpse of what a community is like, how it can benefit them, and how it can help them grow. Deeper the bonds here, the more effective we feel that they will be as pastors, you know, sensitive to the needs of their people. The increasing the retirement endowment 
was part of this campaign. And that's really aimed at uh, two things. First of all, uh, to be sure our older members who have given their lives in service and ministry to this community. Most of them were involved in seminary training and formation at some point in their life. To give them uh, as, as good a retirement life as, as we can. But secondly, also to free up the younger members so that they can use the income that we get in the present and in the future more for the ministry that they'll be involved in. All the monks are really committed to doing the very best they can while they can. And so all of these assignments, I think, can keep a person young in some sense, but eventually, you know, the time of using a cane and so forth is going to come. And that's when we think in terms of retirement. Someday, somebody will be taking my place. I'm taking the place of other formators of the past, uh, part of our tradition, and I hope we can carry on the tradition. But in this way, I kind of fulfill what's been going on here for over a hundred years. Our hope is bright not only for our future, but it's bright today because the young church isn't something we're waiting for, they are the church today. And in the men that I see here at Conception Seminary College are men who strongly desire to know themselves and to know the Lord. I think the, the uh, young people come with an enthusiasm and the basis of that is the fascination of being drawn to the work of the Lord. I think that's what's going to make a difference in people's lives when they get into parish work and so forth. That idea that there's a certain fire, a certain fascination that uh, they found here for themselves and that's what they, they give to the people they serve. We still have that common purpose to pray, to grow together in faith, and to really encourage one another. It's really a beautiful thing and especially makes you realize you're part of something bigger than yourself and that it doesn't just extend to this community, but extends to the worldwide church. I'm grateful for the fact that they have heard and answered God's calling to them and that they have come up to or are progressing in their potential. It's really about what God wants for me and it's about how I can serve his people. As followers of Jesus Christ, who trust in God's grace and God's guidance, we know that we will grow in our unity with one another and with God through our participation in this effort. Your sacrifice and your generosity will help us secure our mission. We're so grateful to you for your support and for your sacrifices that you make on behalf of our seminarians and our monks. Know that you remain in our prayers each day.